planning a trip? Mm hmm Going to Europe. It's a school trip. Did you get your passport? Peter Parker here to pick up a passport, please. Mini toothpaste? Mm -hmm. Pack your suit. I just want to go on my trip with my friends. Europe doesn't really need a friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. I think what Marvel do so well is they give audiences what they want. The audience just don't know that they want it yet. Everyone wants the most conventional version of these characters and Marvel do the complete opposite. Um, so in this case, we've sent Spider-Man and his friends to Europe to see what, what it looks like to see Spider-Man with a different backdrop. Um, and seeing him in Venice and seeing him in Prague is just really exciting and very different. Um, and I always love the initial reaction to trailers or films and then the later reactions to see how people change and warm to these new ideas. Um, so I think it's just going to be interesting to see a very different take on the character. Um, and I think fans will ultimately love what we've decided to do with him. I think Nick Fury just hijacked our summer vacation. Awesome! I think part of the humour from the Spider-Man movies relies on his friends, um, his interesting group of friends who are so fantastically diverse. And it's just interesting to see a, a group of American teens on holiday in Europe. Uh, there's lots of fun that happens there. And then there's also fun with, uh, you know, Spider-Man's new friends that he meets along the way. Um, so the humour is very much in the same tone as the first film, um, but perhaps a little bit more grown up. Um, so it's going to be a lot of fun. You don't want any part of this.